all right welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose laravel and liveware application so before moving further on editing and deleting sections let's add one alert message over here uh, when someone add a new users then we will be displaying alert message saying that the user is created successfully uh, first we will be using bootstrap alert and uh, and later we will integrate Toast notification using liveware. So let's get started. So let me go to list user and then let's use bootstrap alert. Uh, this code over here, let me copy this and let's let me paste it over here and see how it will look. Okay. okay so let's move let me do let's move this part over above this row okay yeah this is looking good so let's indent it and uh, let me change this message do something like success yeah let's add one icon over here A class FAFA check circle also let's add some margin right of one and let's do instead of alert warning let's say alert success and let me remove this part of from here okay now let's make this part dynamic so so let me go to list users component class list users and over here let's say when after the user is created let's uh, pass message to the session using session class the message called user added successfully okay now in list users that blade the PSV file Let, let's add one condition if session has message and let's do and if and let's displace the message over here called session let's do this session message okay now let me test it but it is not showing anything when there is mm, when there is no message in the session now if we add a new users let me fill out this form using auto filler okay let me save it perfect now we see this alert notification saying user edit successfully so this is looking pretty good okay now instead of using this bootstrap alerts let's use the fancy one called toast notification it will look like this so let's use this one also we will be using uh, liveware uh, to pass the browser event so let's get started So, in this, in this, so let's comment this part or let me remove it from here for for now and okay let me go to list users we don't need to do this so let me comment this part and let's use 
this admin LTE test notification let's go to this site and I usually use this to start notifications in my personal project as well so here is a quick start steps so we need to add CSS and JavaScript so let's add that first which is uh, instead of resources views layouts app and let's add here so we already have that inside of public backend let's do backend slash I think plugins okay PLU plugins and then at the end there is toaster slash t o a s t r okay and the css file is twister dot mean dot css t dot mean dot css okay also let's add javascript over here and the source is backend slash plugins yeah backend slash plugins and then twister slash twister dot pin dot js okay now now let's add one script tag over here and when the document is ready let's do and the document is ready let's do let's add toaster settings okay using toaster dot options which are already available over you can go to you can check this demo here as well yeah and we can use this this is the default setting so we can modify this okay so let's do the structure option equals to position class so there is a position class for by default it is on top right so let's use bottom right okay over here so we need to do position class to bottom right okay so let me paste that part and also let's use progress bar let's use progress bar to make it a little bit more fancy so let's do let me copy this and paste it here okay now let's um, pass the browser event using liveware when the user is created so to do this we are we are already dispatching the browser event so we can pass multiple arguments over here so in the first argument we are saying we are passing the string called hide form and in the next argument let's do let's pass an array with the message called user added successfully okay so we need to use this message using javascript so let's go to app.play.php file and let's write javascript for this okay over here let's do window that add event listener uh, so, so let me copy this part now let me cut it from here and paste it over here okay now we are listening to the hide form and we are hiding the form also let's show the toast notification when after hiding the form okay so let's do twister dot success 
and the for using that message we need to do event dot detail dot message okay and for the title let's say success now let's check if this works let's as a new a new user let me fill out this form and let's me save it and it is not showing so let's see what is the issue okay it is saying that toaster is not defined okay okay to fix this uh, we forgot to pass the absolute url so let's uh, fix this so instead of doing this we need to wrap inside of a set so let's do a set and let me press that also same in same for toaster.min.css we need to pass the absolute url so let's do a set and inside this let me paste that okay now i hope this will get fixed so let me refresh this page here yeah, we don't see any issue an error so let me add the user let me close this for now let me fill out this form and let me save it yeah, it is working perfectly fine and it looks so good so i hope you like this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading videos like this and in the next lesson we will be working on editing and deleting section so stay tuned until then have a great time and i will see you in the next video